As we head on to everyone's favorite segment, but Jake's name that game. <laughs> hey, it's the segment is doing so well, Nintendo stole it for their YouTube channel. In a very weird way as well. <laughs> like that that was a very weird it was like just say five words and guess the game. But ours doesn't work like Nintendo's one. Ours is that you get ten hints. Five guesses, two between one to five, two between six to nine, and one after ten. It is a little bit more complicated. It's an overly uh, complicated version of 20 questions. Basically. Um, Alex, please simplify it. <laughs> <laughs> two lifelines you also get, which is the switchaboo lifeline, then the yes-no question. Either can be traded for an extra guess, but the yes-no has to, question has to be before the lifeline for reasons. Like I if said, it's a bit too overcomplicated. To that, yeah, that's purely because of episode one. Mm. Um, so, are you ready to start? Oh, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. So, I, our first clue, it was developed in the Unity engine, as we were, you know, talking about earlier. Alright, Unity game. That rounds it down to a couple thousand games. It does. <laughs> um, it is a single or multiplayer game. So, like, the whole game can be done in single and multiplayer. Huh. Well, most of the game can be done in single. Yeah. It's mostly designed as a multiplayer game. Uh, moving on to the third hint. It is a puzzle game. A puzzle game made in Unity that's multiplayer but has can also be played in single player. Correct. Would you like me to move on to the next clue? Yes, please. Uh, so it was originally prototyped in Adobe Flash. Rest in peace. Oh, that sounds familiar. That sounds like something I've heard. Um... I'll give you the last, like, you know, the fifth clues before you get yeah, the two yeah, guesses. Uh, yeah. give, it was rated 80% on Metacritic. 80, uh, 80... Boy, I wish my dogs would shut up. <laughs> so it's not a bad Unity game. It is a yeah, good yeah. Unity game. Hmm. That was prototyped in Flash. Prototyped and it's a in puzzle Flash. game. It sounds like something I've heard before, which is like the most annoying thing. <laughs> the, so the second half of clues, at least, especially ten, is a lot easier to yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. Because as soon as you hear something, you're like, "I got it." Yeah, yeah. That's that's the thing. Uh, so the first five are usually vague. Yeah, usually pretty vague. Is because, yeah, when you said Flash, I'm like, oh, is it Binding of Isaac? It's like, no, that's not a puzzle game. But it was, you know, a Flash game originally. Um, mm. Good game, by the way. Puzzle game that was in Flash. Oh, I'm blanking. I got nothing. <laughs> Do you want to uh, throw, the, throw the guesses away? Yeah, throw, throw them away. I, I can't. Mm. Okay. Uh, so Brain it received empty. several nominations for the best Switch game of 2017. Uh, 2017. Switch game that came out 2017. Puzzle game. So this was Prototype the first year of the Switch. Nah, unfortunately that doesn't help me. Okay, it was marketed more as a multiplayer game than a single player game. Like all yeah. marketing showed it off as a multiplayer. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, yeah. No, that doesn't help <laughs> Uh, has an expansion DLC pack which coincided with the physical release of the game. That raises even more questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even more lost after that one. I, I'll do nine. Oh, no. um, the DLC has a 84% on Metacritic. Yeah, I have no clue. 
So don't forget you also have your two lifelines. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need them. <laughs> I'm super So you have your them. yes and no question and the Suits of Blue lifeline, I'm just going to have to make up a clue on the spot. Yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, let's go with the switchaboo lifeline because I honestly can't think of a yes or no question that okay, will help me in this situation. Um, well, that just gives away the, the entire yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, like, you you got to make it kind of vague. Um, so, um, it was developed by SFB Games, published by Nintendo, and supports one to four players. I don't even know who SFB is. <laughs> this is the hardest one yet. It was I, published by Nintendo as well. Yeah, published, but I have no idea who that is. I legit have no clue. Okay, I'll give you your, the last clue and I'll give you like three guesses afterwards. The last clue is a, a probably a strong giveaway. Uh, the release date is the 3rd of March, 2017. So it was a launch title. <sighs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, I have no clue. Brain empty. Thoughts none. <laughs> do you want to do a yes, no question or do you give up? Uh, 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 oh, God. If it was prototyped in Flash, does that does that mean it was it was hosted on Newgrounds at some point I before it got turned think into a real game? So let me have a look. Because a lot of Flash games that turned into like huge games usually get you know hosted on Newgrounds before it. I don't think so. From the looks of it. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you know, games like... Uh, oh, uh, yeah, no, like someone Finding just a drew an art piece on nah, Newgrounds. Nah. Yeah, there's yeah, only art yeah, pieces on Newgrounds, which has some questionable art pieces as well. Of course, because, yeah, it is Newgrounds. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, like, there are some huge indie games that, like, started off as Flash games yes. on Newgrounds that became... So it was like, not uh, on... Um, Newgrounds. So they prototyped it yeah. and showed it to Nintendo as the prototype on Flash, and then they developed it in Unity. Okay, okay. Yeah, I have absolutely no clue what this is. So and you give up? probably screaming at me. Yeah, I give up. I have no clue. Snipper clips. I completely forgot that game existed. <laughs> I completely forgot that game existed. Like, we played it together. Yes, we did. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yes. I forgot Snipperclips. Snipperclips was a thing. Oh my god, I feel, I feel so stupid. <laughs> like, I've, I've played it, for god's sake, and I didn't even know what it was. I thought the, uh, the fact that it was a release title would have, like, been a good giveaway. For me, no. Because <laughs> there was a very small title of games on release day. Yeah, but I've forgotten all of them. I know. <laughs> to be fair, though, I had this planned with Alex playing. Yeah. He's probably... He'll probably sit for the audio and be like, Oh, come on! <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I don't play the Switch as much as everyone else. <laughs> but yeah, like... That was one of the release titles. Oh, I feel so dumb. Well, that's my So that first is my last, last name of the game that I have in my back catalogue. <laughs> oh. But yes, oh, I, I had that one planned to have Alex on the podcast to do it with. So like, you know, you had someone to help you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Oh, Bastard has a throat infection, so he couldn't yes. join us.